Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about something really mind-blowing but also something that's in some sense a little bit scary. Turns out over the past few centuries, overall humans as a species have been able to produce more total mass than the entire biomass of our planet. I know that it might not make sense right away what all of this means, let's actually talk a little bit more about this because in some sense this is really important for us to understand, to know and to be aware of. In other words, what this study suggests is that in the last few centuries, and really more in the last few decades, the humanity has been able to produce a lot more total mass. And here we're not just talking about things like pyramids, or things like rockets, cars, vehicles, and so on. We're talking about everything, including of course trash, including everything we've made in the last few centuries, and including things like roads and structures for example. So altogether, if you were to combine it into one large chunk, it would outweigh the entire biomass of our planet. But let's maybe try to visualize all of this because it's a lot easier to imagine all of this if you actually see the comparisons. But first of all, about four years ago when I just started this channel, I made this video where I tried to visualize the different types of biomass on our planet, including things like humans, things like cattle, bacteria, other animals and so on, and try to basically combine it all into one asteroid-like object just to see how all of this would compare, well, let's just say compared to planet Earth. You can obviously find this video somewhere in the description. But it's really easy to try to recreate this, so let's try this again. Now this is really really simple and I'm just basing this on the numbers I found in some of the studies like this one that you can also find in the description below. But essentially this is kind of what all of this would look like, starting with chickens. So if you were to combine all of the chickens on the planet right now, you would get this asteroid that's around uh, 0.22 kilometers in radius. Here's how it compares to the Pyramid of Giza. Then we have ants at about 0.4 kilometers. We have humans at about 0.45 kilometers. So in other words, this is around 900 meters in diameter. The next one is cattle. Then we have cyanobacteria, that's the bacteria that produces oxygen on the planet. Then we have fish at about 0.78 kilometers. We have earthworms, which surprisingly create this really, really large rock that's almost one kilometer in radius or about two kilometers in diameter. And that's essentially one of the more surprising findings from this particular study where it discovered that there's a huge amount of earthworms out there. But the biggest one is obviously bacteria. And the bacteria here represents the largest biomass of the whole planet. A rock that's about 5 kilometers in diameter, with a total mass of about 70 billion tons. But what's really, really surprising here is that for the past few decades, especially as we neared the 21st century, humans overall have been producing roughly around the equivalent of their entire mass. And when I say humans, I mean you and I. We've been producing the equivalent of our own mass pretty much every single week. The amount of construction and all sorts of production that's been going on around the world means that we produce an asteroid that's around one kilometer in diameter in various types of roads, buildings, and even trash that seems to happen every single week and it's been happening every single week for the past few decades, with the numbers actually growing every year. And what's really incredible here is that over the past uh, 20 years, the amount of materials we've been producing, so roads, buildings, ships, and so on, has actually doubled and it's been doubling every 20 years. And so what is the total biomass versus total produced amount by humans? Let's try to visualize this using this as well. And here, if the humans were the rock that's about one kilometer in diameter, as we keep going to the left, we'll eventually discover the total biomass, which is actually right after bacteria. So bacteria is right here, and that's the total biomass of our planet. And right next to it, that's the total anthropogenic material. This rock here is approximately 12.4 kilometers in diameter. This one here is about 12.8, so just a little bit bigger. But what's really kind of unusual, scary, and really unsettling in some way is that this here has obviously been decreasing in the last few decades. And this is one of the scarier discoveries in the study. Because of the deforestation, because of the so-called agricultural revolution of the past few centuries, the amount of animal life, plant life, and so on has unfortunately decreased. It, it literally halved. It became 50% of what it used to be about a few hundred years ago. And most of this is unfortunately because a lot of forests have been cleared to make way for new agriculture or for new places for humans to live. And even though in the 1900s, in the beginning of the 20th century, the anthropogenic mass was only about 3% of the total biomass, it's now officially more than everything else on the planet. 
with the biggest production boom starting right after the Second World War. And essentially up to now, the production has only been increasing and doubling every 20 years. But it's the 2020 when all of this officially happened. So basically 2020 is officially the year that we can mark as the beginning of the anthropogenic era. The era when the human-made material is a lot heavier and a lot more prominent on the surface of the planet than anything else produced by life. But the research also estimates that by 2040, this will most likely triple. The amount of material is going to be three times bigger than it is today, with the total asteroid now being roughly around 20 kilometers in diameter. Now obviously this doesn't really matter much when you look at the total size of our planet, which is way way bigger than any of these objects. But when you really compare this to the total biomass on the planet, including the bacteria, the worms, the viruses and everything else on the planet, it really puts it in a very different perspective. Especially with the scariest part being this biomass dropping every year. The combination of deforestation and the change of land use does actually affect the total biomass quite dramatically, with the total biomass of the planet slowly dropping and the total amount of anthropogenic material increasing, it actually kind of sounds a little bit scary. Unless we find a way to somehow find a balance between all of this, we're going to kind of turn this planet into, well, basically a big graveyard of man-made stuff. There's not going to be enough biomass to support the biological sustenance on the planet. But that's of course the worst case scenario. The more likely scenario is that we're most likely going to discover some other means to maintain the balance and to possibly even replace certain things that we depended on using biomass with something that we can actually manufacture. For example, farms, which usually do rely on biomass and land, in some areas, like for example in certain developed cities, started to be slowly integrated into the man-made products. In this particular case, I'm talking about, for example, having farms inside the buildings, inside subways, and inside other man-made structures that sort of become part of the structure itself. This has been talked about in various countries like China, South Korea, and Japan, and has already started to become established as potential way to produce produce and biomass by integrating it directly with the man-made structures. But either way though, it's still important to be aware of what's happening on the planet and how the humanity is changing the planet itself, at least from the perspective of the biomass and the life on the planet. We're not entirely sure where all of this goes just yet, we just have to remember that we are affecting the planet in ways we can't even imagine. And considering that we directly depend on this biomass for survival, we have to remember not to be too arrogant, too greedy and respect it as well. It gave us life and it can take it away. But anyway, on that note, check out the study in the description below, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also, support this channel on Patreon or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.